Apple Mark. He's not a king, he's a little ass boy. If you meet him, you better run. He'll waste your time, and he won't even be able to. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, what could be worse? <laughs> <laughs> You have to be mean to your characters. Action. From the very beginning, the idea for this show was to build out a series of stories where each season is sort of a self-contained character study. It really has so much the same heart of season one. It's almost as if we're kind of walking down the street with one person and then we pick up with someone else and learn everything about them. Marcus Watkins. Sub Marcus Watkins. Marcus has made a lot of decisions based on what people expect of him, what he thought he wanted. His first marriage was an easy marriage. It was sort of the path of least resistance, but it was never quite right. Marcus Watkins is someone who's kind of lost and needing to make a change and kind of not knowing how to. Season one with Darby finding her one and just like filling the audience with hope that it can be done. In season two, we come in ruin all that and like no like sometimes the one isn't the one here in my hiding spot dude <laughs> we were really excited <laughs> to have him meet someone that blew his mind my wife emily that makes sense with mia giving him shit what's up with you do you date black women are we doing this now <laughs> we are yeah all right <laughs> and him actually thinking about it, probably for the first time in a long time. It does send Marcus into a spiral. Who am I similar to? Van Jones. LeVar Burton. The black George R.R. R. Martin. Obama. Mia pops into Marcus's life and shakes him out of this stupor. Mia calls something out of him that he hides. I met someone else, I think. What do you mean, you think? Like he's a ghost? No, no. Shut it down. Go home to your wife. Marcus already has made up his mind and is kind of seeking advice emptily. That dumb night blew up my whole life. It's always fun when a character has everything going against him. Should we get out of here? If we want this guy to have to lie in the bed that he's made, what's the realest but still deeply embarrassing outcome? Please tell me you're in grad school. Not yet. First two women that he dates, those are really about his ego. What's up, smart guy? <laughs> Destiny, it's like a quick bad choice, and it just goes south. Uh, 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 uh. He meets Ola, and he's like, this has got to be it. She checks a lot of boxes, and maybe this is what I need. In forcing that, things get too serious too fast. You know what I'm looking at right now? Black love, supportive. Strong, beautiful, black love. There's a lot of pressure to be in love with a black woman, and it has to go perfectly. You have to be the Huxtables. You have to be Barack and Michelle. Holy shit. Marcus? Mia. When he finally runs into Mia again, it's like, there she is. <laughs> it's the truth of his feelings. He can't go back and pretend with Ola anymore. Oh, shit! There's nothing worse than when you go from being somebody's hero to being their villain. You're not a king. You're a little ass boy. Marcus is a little unsure of himself, and so therefore we put a lot of confident characters in his path. Boy, you just on time. I was craving a great Fanta. You hush. I look good. Punky is amazing. She improved everything we wrote. Oh, that is really sweet. Their energy and chemistry was just so funny. Get the fuck out of my fridge. All right, damn. Are you seeing anybody now? Nothing serious. Quote, unquote, there's no strings attached. Only to, of course, have the flip side be this pregnancy. Wow. <laughs> it goes to a place that neither one expected. I don't want to be tied to you for the rest of my life. Then what do you want? He's really angry that this will be like a mark against him. You cannot tap out right now. You got to see this shit through. Hello? You've always been a good guy and return to that person that you are. I'm on my way. But in the midst of all that, Marcus gravitated towards Mia. There's something about his connection with her. Mia kind of won't go away. <laughs> Mia sees him, and there's something about that that allows him to relax. I really like you, Mia. I really like you, too. 
we always had hoped that there would be this instant connection between Marcus and Mia. To see Will and Jessica lock in and sparkle. They just play off each other so well. It's just so explosive and so emotional and so wonderful. It's clearly like two black nerds just <laughs> like, like enjoying time with each other. Leon at Susan A. Mia has a lot of fear. Fear of commitment, fear of ending up like her parents. <laughs> we see Mia self-sabotage, and it's just such a subtle, painful, powerful story. Not unlike the moment where we meet him, he's with the person that he wants to be with, and it seems to be working. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Don't propose. Like, oh, it's such a knife in the heart. It's a wake-up call for Marcus. It isn't working for me. When you have an actor like Will, who's so expressive, you do just feel it's like, oh my god, that's someone just having their heart broken just in a second. Who pick up two black dudes in a Ford Bronco? Oh, come on. No one even makes that association anymore. You sure? Uh, they might. They might. Well, next time we'll go on your Honda Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When you are casting the quote-unquote friend characters, you're always hoping that they can be funny but also feel real. Working with CP was a dream. I remember seeing his audition and it just was like, this is the guy. His mind goes to so many places. It's like an improv game. Took her to get her nails done last week and they gave me a pedicure too, right? There's like fish that eat the shit off your feet. But I didn't know that I was stepping on them motherfuckers. Killed like seven fish. The guy was like, oh, you gotta pay eight bucks a fish. Arian and Will go way back. Being able to key into that chemistry and felt really fun. Look at us, bro. Becoming one with nature. It becomes so therapeutic that everybody wants to let everything out. I'm dating Emily. And it's so, it's so tense, it feels so real. And ultimately, Will just made a choice there that resulted in my favorite piece of his acting from the whole season. I think it's beautiful, man. She likes me for me. <laughs> She's my girlfriend now, and I have to undo the damage that you did to her. What he's allowed to do is finally let go. Let go of the burden for having hurt Emily, and know that she found her path, and that likely he will also. So, you dating anyone? <laughs> hey. Don't worry, we were six feet apart, blah, blah, blah. You're touching the spoons with your dirty COVID hands. It's over. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anjali. As someone who is kind of so consumed by what other people think of him in the pandemic, all that goes away. It's just you. Now what happens? Can I see you? I think I'm all set. Marcus gets a backbone. It really is the story of Marcus's inner strength. Hello? Him being at a point in his life to forgive her is very powerful. I always want to be there for you. Mia is Marcus's person, and it's the kind of thing where you try to talk yourself out of it, but then it clearly knows she's the one. Being in a relationship is work. No matter how much you love someone or care about someone, it's work. Gosh. I am shitting. Whoa! <laughs> Once you become a parent, it never goes back to normal. God, that would be nice, but no. <laughs> Just dive into some of the more thorny things that make romantic love so interesting and complicated and messy. I love you so much. I love you too. It's very powerful when you do see two people of color fall in love on screen. We had the luxury of having seen them go through hell and back, and so we knew they were right for each other by the end. You have to earn love. You can't just stumble into it. Back when we first met, I remember walking away just being like, why did this woman even talk to me? And look at us now. Ending up together is still only the beginning of another story. We just wanted to lean into that and say it, it ended happily, and then it keeps going, and there are more problems. And if you're lucky and you're with the right person, it gets easier. And cut. And cut. Bye, babe. Ain't no bye. Bye. I'm going to join you. 